Hello everyone, a few weeks ago I made a video about how to fix squeaky hardwood floors and I had a few comments, people asking me, well, would I use the same types of methods to, to basically fix my squeaky laminate or floating floors and some of the examples I would have used for hardwood floors, yes it does work for laminate floors, but a lot of them, no it doesn't work because they're simply two different types of floors and they also squeak for different types of reasons. If you have hardwood floors or wood floors of any types, watch that video for a lot more information on how to fix those types of squeaks and why your hardwood floors would actually start to squeak in the first place. Now laminate or floating floors are a little bit different than hardwood floors. Back in the day they were a lot thinner, they were a lot flimsier and they just didn't look as good and they didn't work as good as they do today. Nowadays they have floating floors that are a lot thicker than they used to be in the past and at least with this thicker type of floating floors they tend not to squeak as quickly or begin to squeak as quickly as the old style floating floors. But either way, floating floors will begin to squeak no matter what. Almost every case usually begins within a year or two, but it all depends on the type of climate in which you live. Most of the time, the reason why laminate floors will begin to squeak is because it shifts. The reason why is because a lot of people put laminate floors in the basement like in this house and if you have a dehumidifier that fills up almost every day on hot, humid days like today, well, you will have a humid basement. If you don't have that dehumidifier running all the time, then it risks the floating floors to begin to expand and then when it gets to be more dry outside, it will retract again which will cause gaps and cracks in the floor, which will begin to rub and essentially squeak. But at least there are a few ways that you can fix it and that's what I'll be showing in this video. A lot of videos online will just simply tell you to just spread some talcum powder or baby powder inside the seams, the cracks of the laminate floors. But the thing is, these types of methods, they tend to last a day or a week, if that, because laminate floors tends to really move and rub together. Just a little bit of talcum powder and baby powder tend to not really work that well. So let's move on to a, another method that I find works a lot better, bicycle wax, bicycle chain wax. I have a lot of bicycles, I bike a lot, and I have a lot of different bike degreasers and bike greasers, and also I have bicycle chain wax. Now the reason why you should use a type of wax and not use some type of bicycle grease is because the grease will get into the seams of the floor and it will just attract dust. Eventually it will dry up and it will start creaking even worse than it did before and can also damage the floor. So just don't use any grease in the seams of your laminate floors. But using a wax will work a lot better because it acts like a wax, it dries like a wax. Now all you do is you simply pour the liquid wax inside the seams of the laminate floors and then just wipe off all the access and make sure the floor isn't a slippery hazard. And hopefully the squeaking will be gone. If it didn't work the first time around but you do notice that there is a decrease in the amounts of squeaks that you hear, then just reapply a second, a third time and the squeaks should be gone. Now this type of liquid wax will not attract dirt and grime like grease will, so it will last a lot longer than that and also last a lot longer than baby or talcum powder. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and if you did, please leave a like, it really helps for the algorithm and also leave a comment in the section below if you have any questions, I will make sure to try to answer them in the first seven days at least. And also, if you have any suggestions on future videos, please leave your feedback in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time.